Good morning and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I'm a cross stitcher. This is a floss tube video so that means it's predominantly about cross stitch. Um, I do do other crafts but um, I tend to start other crafts and then just put them in a bag and carry on with my cross stitch because that's what I love most of all. I've got a lot of progress to show you in the last two weeks. Um, I say a lot of progress, do I mean a lot of progress or does it just mean I've touched a lot of things? I think I've got a bit of both. I've got my little book of notes just here um, and I've touched one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. One of which is unfortunately in the car and the cars at the shops with my husband because he goes shopping and that's why I do my videos on a Saturday morning because if I did them while he was at home he'd just sit and laugh at me all the time. So I've touched eight things that I can show you and one that's in the car. Um, I need to have a discussion about one of the things with you and decide what I'm going to do with it and I should have ironed something but I haven't. I meant to but I forgot and I've got a little bit of shopping to show and discuss and I've also forgotten to charge my battery so I need to be quick because my phone battery is going to die soon and if I plug the cable into a battery pack it just hums in the background I've noticed um, I did a little trial so used up a little bit of battery to do that trial and no okay quick 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 move on I've got a cup of tea and I've got a cup of water, because um, apparently you're supposed to drink a glass of water in the mornings before you do anything else. It's very boring. Oh, and it's cold, which is horrible. Tea's warm and nice. Okay, so let's talk about Moo Cow Mondays. Um, I think I made a fair bit of progress. This is what it did, did look like when I um, showed you last time. And now I oh Travis on a Monday I'm often so tired that I can't do anything but it's now looking like this I've got the eye in I made a mistake way back when I started this and so this area is all either one stitch too far this way and then one stitch too far this way or four stitches I don't know so it could be that when I get the other eye in he's a little bit boss eyed um, and <laughs> he, he might look a bit funny but at the moment I'm thinking he's looking quite good so I think I shall persevere with him on Mondays so that's good that's him so Moo Cow Mondays are still a thing, still enjoying them, so I'll still work on him on a Moo Cow Monday. Now then, let's have a look at the book of tricks. After I finished my video last time, I really didn't know what to do with myself, stitchy-wise. I think I had coursework to do, so I had to go and do that. Um, but after I'd finished my coursework, what did I stitch on next? Where's my piece of paper? Oh, the bit with the bookmark in. Who'd know? Who'd think? Okay, so the next thing I stitched on was this one. I'm not at all ready. I haven't got anything out. Oh, there's scissors flying everywhere. Um, so this is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Homecoming Sal, which finishes next month. But I'm not really following along as a good Sally person. Not a Sally person because Sally's might not want to follow along with Sal's either. Oh, I got sidetracked and got a bit behind, is what I'm trying to say. And this is where I'm at now. So I don't think I took a before photo. If I did, I might put it here, but I'm not sure. Um, but this is where I'm at. It's really fun to stitch. So I just stitched the pond, the Nessie, and the frog. And um, I added this little love heart because Nessie's looking at the frog as if to say, I love you. Either that's because she wants to eat them or because they're just in love with the frog prints. And I ha I think I've mentioned before, I have a thing about frog princes. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there we are. So I stopped 
in this straight line here because that's as far as my cue snap could reach because I started over here at the base of the dragon's tail. I don't know where I'll go next, I've got um, plenty of space. So I'm stitching this on some Stitch Bunny, Stitch Bunny Shop hand dyed Ada. It's beautiful and it's, you know, one of my favourites. It's so soft. It's called Spring Air Test Piece One and it's by Stitch Bunny Shop. There's a rather tatty card if you want to see. Um, I fold it up and keep it with the project so I don't ever forget. And I think it's about a 14 count because it's using two threads quite happily. But yeah, that's a good, a good fun stitch. And I forgot how much I enjoyed it. So I'd worked on that for a couple of evenings. Um, and it made me happy. So I'll just fold that in there. Do that, do that. Chuck it on the floor. I should have started with this one because, drum roll please, ding, I have a finish. I have no idea where it is. Bear with me, callers. It's just here. Sorry about the zip. I was just thinking to myself, well done, Lizzie, you've done nothing with zips. Like, nothing's got a zip. Because some people don't like zips because if they're listening with earphones in, um, it really hurts their ears but sorry I did warn you so here's a finish I have finished A Stitch's Heart by Tiny Modernist my friend Fiona and I um, both bought the pattern I bought it on cardboard she bought it on PDF and we ordered a Roxy Flosco conversion pack um, from or oh, not conversion packs look it's charged in Roxy Flosco colours um, we ordered the the pack of colours from Roxy Flosco, we split it in half um, because we figured we wouldn't need full skeins for the whole thing. So these are the colours. They're a bit battered and a bit tatty now. No. Oh, uh, these are the colours except for this one. I had to add this one because it's like my favourite colour in the world. It's a one of a kind. And it's called uh, Roxy Flosco. Um, it's called Gilbert. I've got like... I think I bought five, six skeins of it because it just sings Lizzie. I love those colours. Um, you want to see the stitching, don't you? How often do floss tubers say that? I sat here talking, but actually you're here to see what I've stitched. Um, and I'm quite proud of it. So, like I said, I made some colour conversions. Um, and because Fiona and I were both stitching it, I changed some colours. For us, so da 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 da. Ooh, it's on a piece of cardboard, a bit bendy. So I've changed out the colours of the thread. So purple being my favourite colour, green being Fiona's, and I changed out our dresses and our hair. So I've got red hair. Fiona's got blonde hair. Hers is a bit shorter than mine. Well, hers is a bit shorter than mine when I started stitching it up at the cut. And I just played around with the colours of the buttons. But yeah, I finished this last weekend and I was dead chuffed with myself. It was like, Lizzie, there were really not that many stitches. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it. I mean, um, I've, I was just saying I've lost the pattern. I haven't, it's here, it's behind the stitching. Um, I'm not doing this foo-foo heart thing or making it into a cushion even because it's going to be a quite big cushion. I've got two dogs. The only place I can have cushions is on the bed and the husband thinks I've got enough. Actually, he thinks I've got too many, but so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Might go on the wall just here. I say that quite a lot, but I never get around to it, do I? So we're in the stitchy spot. Ideas whether I make it into a pit, like frame it. Oh, Fiona, have you got any frames in the shed that that would fit in? Um, we'll have to. I'll have to come and have a look, please. So that's that one I'm just going to pop it back in the bag like that and throw it on the floor okay so this next one sorry another zip I haven't actually checked for zips I thought I had but then I looked at my list and um there yeah, we are is um birds from Bernard's books it's a modern folk embroidery and I love the pattern 
here, here it is finished. I don't think I took a picture beforehand. Um, I'm just questioning my colour choices when I started it and the fabric choice in a what the heck were you thinking kind of way. Um, it's, oh, I'm saying I'm a lot, aren't I? It's one of those pieces that I think would look lovely on the wall, but not the way I've stitched it. I don't know what to do. Do I carry on and finish it? Well, let's have a look at it, shall we? So, here it is. I stitched this corner in the last week or two I did it at uni whilst waiting for things to happen like brain cells to fire and things um, I stitched that one over one it's on Ada that pink is and the yellow is over two over one but I quite like that one over one finish my question is I can't ever see it going on the wall do I continue or do I just make it into a project bag with that bit? That might be the answer. Do, do, do. Um, I mean, if I finished it and then made it into a project bag, A, that would be another couple of years worth before I get around to finishing it. And B, it would be one big project bag. Answers on a postcard. Would I stitch it again if I re would I restart it? Maybe and do it just in like a plain colour on a plainer fabric. The fabric is from the Stitch Ferret. It's very nice. I think it's like an 18 or 20 count. Must be 18, otherwise I would have been mad to do it with two over one. Um it's 18 count Ada. And it's a really gorgeous fabric. It's just why did I use it for this project? <sighs> so, at the end of my last... Oh, zip, sorry. At the end of my last video, I said I was going to work on... Um, I'm just getting it. Ugh, have a nice look at my hair. It's a beautiful colour. It matches my chair, doesn't it? Um, I was going to work on AKGIT um, a lot last weekend and finished that red tree hopefully well i haven't finished the red tree but i did finish a stitch's heart and that's why i didn't finish the red tree well one of the reasons i don't know if i would have done but i did spend more time stitching that than i meant to um, because i realized i was so close to finishing it would be wrong not to um so without any further ado here's where i am um halfway through the tree maybe or a third done still a lot of stitches i wonder if it'll focus will it focus i am loving it so this is akgit by modern folk embroidery stitched one over one on 28 count fabric using roxy flosco progress pride pack two um and I'm just doing the colours where I fancy. I do love it. I think that'll be another next weekend progress. But on my not floss tube weekends, I'm going to try and work on that. Because I did a lot last weekend on it, didn't I? I think I've done that bit. And so I've done all of that and that. And it's looking good, looking good, Mr. Roxy Flosco, Modern Folk Embroidery, AKGIT, that's what it's called. That one's in the car, I can't show you that. So here is a start and a finish, which I haven't ironed and I meant to. Um, so I'm stitching, I signed up to, in December, um, D's 20 Stitches, um, Pride, 
Stitch for Pride sale 2024, um, which comes with learning about, um, I think it's all going all to be about artists who are gay or trans um, or part of the LGBTIQ plus community. So this week, um, we, or this week, this month, the focus was on Keith Haring. And um, when I s looked it up and saw the patterns, I thought, I know that artwork. Um, prominent in the 80s, he um, was really big at supporting AIDS community, uh, AIDS, AIDS charities and things. Um, also very big at commu community art, um, very worth looking into. Anyhow, here is Dee's, um, what's the word? Stitch piece for January, using Keith Haring's work as inspiration for it. And I finished it, I started it and I finished it. So I've stitched it, I mean there's an error down here, this triangle thing should I think should be closer because I couldn't get the line of stitches in, but otherwise. Um, oh, I haven't done three quarter stitches for a while either, but I remember how to do them now. I didn't remember how to do them down here, but I did when I got up here. Um, I love it. It's a really fun stitch being monochrome. I used um, Classic Colourworks Deep Blue C. Um, that Natalia, um, who is crafting with Natalia here on Floss Tube, um, gave me at the last Floss, Floss, Floss Friends Retreat. Um, and I love the colour changes in it, even though it's just a monochromatic stitch. I think it's quite good fun, isn't it? So I stitched that on a piece of Ada that I dyed myself yonks ago. Um, I should have done it in this corner, really, and then I could have chopped it off. But hey. I didn't. I'll chop it off there and put the Ada back in the box. But yeah, so that's a start and a finish. Get me! Woohoo! I am storming along, am I not? I haven't stitched on Peter the pig. Um, if you're wondering where he is this week, he's not coming out to play. So what else have I stitched on? Thursday night, no zip this time, just noisy elastic bands. Thursday night was Burns night. So that's like um celebration of the Scottish poet Robert Burns. Um and traditionally people in Scotland have the whole haggis, neeps and tatties thing going on and have a nice good old knees up drinky poos type thing. And um Alba Stitcher here on Floss Tube has decided to do a little start a little style. So um, it's called hashtag a tiny hashtag tiny we nation no hashtag mighty we nation Sal um, we w e e as in small. Um, so I was, oh, I thought right, I'm doing that on Burns Night. I'm going to look for something new. And I saw all these patterns, one that I definitely want to stitch. It's like a travel poster, Visit Scotland with the Glenfiddan viaduct. <laughs> You'll know the bridge when I see it, when I stitch it, in about three years. Hey ho, moving swiftly on. I picked up a whip, Flowers of Scotland. I started this around the time of the coronation, not on the coronation day when King Charles was crowned. Not on the actual day, because it was a bit too concentrated and my mum was here for the whole day. So um, this is what it's going to look like. Bothy Threads kit, they come in these cardboard things now. And this is what it looks like so far. So I did uh, on Thursday, 
from like this guy's waist downwards and the little medals which are just there obviously there's going to be a ton of back stitch in there but yeah <coughs> i've stitched it i've touched it i might not touch it again for another year but i enjoyed it when i did and that's the whole point isn't it enjoy what you're doing um but yeah so this is stitched on a piece of lakeside needle crafts fancy pantsy ada with some sparkle in it in fact it's a 30 28 count even weave count even weave two over two with the threads that they provided the, the kit came with 14 count ada so doing it on 30 uh, for 28 count even weaves fine with the threads that they provided i've just put them on um my floss drops from Jess so I can wrangle them a bit easier so that's that one whether I stitch it again this year I don't know my dad and I might be going to Scotland in June might I say might be dad's definitely going to Scotland in June but I've just booked a holiday for me and my daughter at the end of June like very end of June start of July really um so not sure I could get two weeks. Well, I could take my studying with me to Scotland, couldn't I? Oh, maybe, maybe not. So that's everything I've stitched on. I did a bit more work on um, this, which is the Twin Birds Pincushion by Chloe, Girl with the Gavel Stitches. Um, I did a little bit of work on that last night, just putting in the next border for the base. Um, it's quite a lot of stitches just in a rectangle. Got a bit boring, but I persevered because I do love that and I do want to finish it. Should we talk about my shopping? I think we should. Let me just put some more things on the floor so I can talk to you about my shopping. I've been to the charity shops. And I found in my favourite one, so my hairdresser's in Buckingham, which is where I went to university. It's about 40 minutes away. And um, that's the only thing I go to Buckingham for now, is to go to the hairdressers. But when I'm there, I visit my favourite charity shop, um, which is the William Hospice Charity Shop in Buckingham. Not that anybody needs to know that. Um, and I found this kit for four pounds. Isn't that cute? It's a Marjorie... Bastin kit. I think that's quite a good name. It's got the pattern, it's got some linen, it's got the threads all there. Four pounds. Bargain. And I might stitch that soon because that looks like a lovely sort of sea. St oh, it's, oh, it's autumnal. It's got rose hips. Is that autumnal? <gasps> Look at that little birdie poking out just there. Um, somebody tell me if rose hips are autumnal or spring. Well, I'm feeling they're autumnal, so I might have to wait. Well, I can stitch at any time, can't I? But there you go. What else did I find in a charity shop, I hear you ask? This book. It's a bit basic. Uh, it's called Simple to Sew Cross Stitch. Master new sewing skills with these simple to make projects. It is a bit basic, but it's got, like, this little pig will be useful for stitching for my niece. Hope you're not watching this then. You might be, although your mum might just have taken to watching it herself now. Um, yeah, there's a few, it's quite a simple book, but there are a few little ditty bits, like a couple of borders and things, which are, I'm going to use. And I think are these the next this book and the three more were a pound each. I mean, a pound, a pound for that pig, bargain. So I'm going to put things down my pile's going to fall over. This book was a pound fancy cross stitch. Um, good thick book. Let me show you one of the projects in it that I really like. I'm listening to Mythos at the moment by um, Stephen King. And I'm quite into my... Uh, and also watching Percy Jackson, of course, on um, the Disney thing. And so, yeah, I'm quite into my Greek mythology. There's another one. Another one. I mean, 
look at that line oh, that's the pattern i can't show you that let me show you the finish so it's got the zodiac signs in but just look at that lion i hope you can see that because i can't see um it's just good 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 book pound bargain another pound cats of the world in cross stitch this has got so many cat pictures in um and they're so look at that look at that cat that is my daughter's stepmother's cat to a t um look at these guys oh sorry about the bear oh they're just gorgeous a pound a pound and it's got like a gazillion projects it doesn't tell you how many of course that'd just be helpful um oh there's too many patterns to to count so oh it's just nice and then the last one it's by the same people jane neely mayhew and nikki wheeler is the water's edge in cross stitch and oh, again i mean these people must be artists before well different types of art but you know what i mean oh it's a little snip bit about them Jane is a successful wildlife artist whose fascination with embroidery, blah, 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 blah. And Nikki's training and experience in theatrical costume design has given an in-depth knowledge of textiles and stitchery. This one. Let me see if I can find it. You know, I've got um, P. Roy and... The slug and the snail. So it's P. Roy and I've got a snail picture. Well, in here, <laughs> there's a frog that looks really cool that I might have to do to go with it. Um, struggling to find it now. Okay. I don't know what my fascination is. Slug, snails and frog dogs, so. And frogs. Same. Um, there's just a brilliant, I mean... If anybody ever needs to stitch, let me find the, not the pattern. If anybody ever needs to stitch a massive carp, let me know. I'm your girl, I've got you. You know, if you need a, if you need a pattern for a carp, I've got you. That was my charity shop purchasing. I then was early to pick my daughter up, so I went and looked around, uh, on Thursday, so I went and looked around a charity uh, antique shop oh gosh it's called the antique cellar and there's loads of different stalls in there if you mean and found this traditional sample collection it was a bit more than the pound i think it was three pounds four pounds um it's got some pictures of old samplers in and a lot about all you know a lot of history about samplers and the 18th century uh it goes start you hear that that's my dog he's just woken up 17th century samplers early samplers but it's also got like patterns in for ones that she's made herself this lady called sarah don and it's really old quite an old book uh when was it published 1986 um but i quite like I'm not really a sample person, like I said. Just looking for the colour pictures because there aren't that many. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it's not the wrong one. Anyway, I quite like this one. I like the trees in it. I might just take the trees off. Um, and there's another one that I wanted to show you, but... Anyhow, I might not keep it for very long, but it was going to go mouldy in that old antique cellar, so I saved it. And then I purchased something not from the charity shop. I ordered it online. I was hoping there's something I wanted to open. I was hoping it would come today so I could all open it with you. But, um, so, I don't know if you watch it, Roscraft. Ros Cl 
Clark Crafts, not Ross Craft Clarks. Ross Car. Water. Oh, caffeine, but I've got to finish that water first, apparently. Ross Clark Crafts. Um, put a little post up saying on Instagram saying, does anybody want to take part in the first most magnificent round robin, ink circles round robin in the UK thing? I don't know if, I think other people have probably done it in the UK, but I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. The premise is you buy an insert, ink circles pattern, in ink circles patterns, there's quite a lot of them that are the same all the way around, if you know what I mean. So each quarter is the same as each quarter, only mirrored. Um, which you could think would be a bit boring to stitch. Now, I don't see it like that, but I'm quite happy to join in. So basically, you buy your pattern, you stitch your first quarter and you pass it on to the next person. They stitch the next quarter, you pass it on. So in the end, you get your piece back with three other people stitching on it and you've stitched on three other people. So you get to stitch other patterns that you might not want, might not normally stitch. I don't know if I explained that very well. So there's Ros Clark Crafts, me and two other people. I'm really sorry, I don't remember who. Um, I have chosen Year of the Dragon, Ink Circles, Elemental Design, Elemental Dragon's Water. And of course, once I've stitched on one, I'm going to have to get the others. Um, and I'm fine with that. I am here for that. Um, so I chose to stitch it on some Lakeside Needleworks. It doesn't tell you what. Aquamarine Ada, 20 count. 18 count. Quite water based. Can you see like the ripples in it and stuff? Thought that'd be quite cool. And I ordered, I thought, I know, I fancy a treat. I fancy letting other people have a bit of a treat. I'll order some silk. So I looked at the Lakeside Needleworks website and I, I wanted a nice variegated but only slightly variegated deep blue and I saw this Stinky Dyes Mystic Pools it's only purple which is lovely I love purple but I don't think it works on that fabric so I've all, I mean, obviously I'm going to keep it because it's purple. <laughs> Why would I want to get rid of it? Um, so I've ordered some navy-ish silk from somewhere else. I can't remember where off the top of my head. Um, if it's a UK dyer, um, quite excited to get that. And I will let you know and show you what it's like when it comes. And as soon as it comes, I can start that because I think we're... I don't think we're posting the first quarter till April, I hope. Because even a quarter of that chart, can you see it even though it's back in its bag, it's going to be quite a lot of stitches. Um, I also ordered to get me over my free postage, because if you spend £30 in Lakeside, you get free postage. Some glass seed beads from Mill Hill. In purple because I'm going to use them on the um, twin birds pincushion as an edge. I thought that might be quite pretty. Um, I don't think there's quite enough for what I wanted in one pack, so I might just change it. But um, I was going to try and do something quite clever. I'm happy with not quite clever. So you know when the last video ended, I went, oh no, I'll tell you next week. Well, that was about this sal because I was telling you my plans that was this sale um and also I've signed up to the climbing goat designs dragon sale which is going the first part's out and it looks like this um but I haven't started it yet I don't even know what fabric I'm going to use I've got some 40 count I need a cup of tea I'm just going to drink this because the water's really not hitting it Hmm. Excuse me. I've got some 40 count vintage country mocha. I'll probably just use that. I don't want it to be too big. 
but I do need to start it. Um, plans, so plans, 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 plans. I don't really have any. Next weekend I'll work on AKGIT. Oh, I do have a plan. I keep forgetting I have this plan. My husband is 50 this year. He doesn't want any fuss or anything made. So of course, I'm gonna make a fuss. I bought, let me show you, oh, if I can reach it. A few years back for his birthday, you may remember if you've been following me for a long time, I bought this pattern and gave it to him for his birthday. He said, oh great, thanks, wow. That's like me giving you a set of spanners. So, I think it's only like eight pages. His birthday's in September. If I did a page a month, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, page and a bit a month from next month, I could potentially finish it for his birthday. I'm trying to find the page I started on and I'll show you. Where's the page I started? Oh, phew, gosh. Unfortunately, it's not PDF, if you know what I mean. It came as a book, so that slowed me down slightly. I've only got a few more stitches on the first row. Let me show you where I'm at on the first page. I'm nearly at a page finish. I mean, if I did this, sorry, it's in a bag with, I must dump everything else in it. Um, if I did this secret squirrel-like, he would never know. Here's where I'm at. So the top of the page is just there. And the edge of the page is, I think, there-ish. No, it must, must be here, mustn't it? Um, it's quite boring to stitch. Is it going to focus? It's quite boring to stitch because at the moment it's all just browns, 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 browns. But that's because I've started just here. It's all stubble. Up here it's going to be easy to stitch in. It's all blue, 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 if it's stitched at all up there. Let's have a look at page one. Yeah, it's all stitched. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, one, two, six times four, 200, 2,400 stitches of the same colour on that sheet alone. What do you think? Is that a plan? Do you think I can do it? Do you think I can really do it? it? Says it's 14 count. I'm doing it on 18 count. Easy grid. There's no reason why I couldn't, is there? Mm. Maybe I need to get this out of more often. We shall see. Sorry, I've made that really boring, haven't I? That's because it's a boring stitch. It doesn't excite me as much as things with colours. Maybe I just need to count to where that nice green bit's going to be and do that. But then I've got all the boring stuff left, so I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, Hey-ho. We shall see, we shall see. Um, If not, I'll just finish Moo Cow Monday piece and he can have that. Maybe, we've got Six Nations coming up and I tend to stitch on stuff that he likes during the six, during the rugby. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, it's because when we first met, um, so we met in September and then it was Six Nations and I think there was a World Cup fairly soon after. And when he was out, is that possible? He 
Yeah. When he was out rugbying, I um, would sit and stitch on a surprise stitch for him. It's up on the wall over there. Um, it was a tractor that I'd found on the internet. I can't even remember where I found it. It's a John Deere tractor. My husband's a bit tractor mad. Um, so that's why I think of stitching for him in when, the, when there's big rugby. If it's just like a Harlequins game, which unfortunately lost to Leicester last night, I'll just do normal stitching. Um, but if it's like England playing, then I'll stitch something that he likes. Um, and I think he'll quite like this when it's finished. I've gone on and I've sort of run out of steam. My phone's probably running out of battery. I don't think there's anything else stitchy wise I need to tell you. I need to wrap this up and go and do some coursework. Um, otherwise, I, oh, this afternoon I'm going for coffee with my daughter and we're going to go to paint some pottery and that is very exciting. Um, but I'd rather do that, not stress about coursework. So I'll stop now and go in and do that and then I'll do some stitching this evening and then I'll see you in two weeks time and we'll have another natter. Sorry for the um, total lack of looking at the the thingy, the camera. Um, I'm just too distracted by my hair, if I'm honest. Um, it's very red. I love it. And <laughs> uh, a quick shout out to um, the Davis family. Hi, I, I hear you all watch me now. So much love to you. Let your mum stitch more. Um, and I will see you soon. Take care, people. Bye.